So you bought a pickup truck, but you've never hitched anything to the back of it. Well, it's about time to change that. Today, I'll be walking you through everything you need to know to tow a trailer. The first step in towing a trailer is to know your numbers. Finding out your specific towing numbers should be done at the dealership when you buy your truck, though this info is also available in your owner's manual or online. You'll need to find out your tow rating, your gross vehicle weight rating or GVWR, your gross combined weight rating or GCWR, your gross axle rating and the vehicle's curb weight. Now keep in mind that your tow rating does not compensate for a full load of passengers and cargo. So always make sure you account for the actual weights being loaded into your truck. To make sure you don't exceed your combined weight rating, add together the gross vehicle weight and gross trailer weight, being sure to include all passengers and cargo. If that number is less than the GCWR, you're good to go. For the GVWR, add together the gross vehicle weight and the tongue weight of the trailer, which is usually 9 to 15% of the gross trailer weight. If those two numbers together are less than your GVWR, you're good to go. Finding the proper hitch depends on your vehicle and your trailer. You'll need to know what size your hitch receiver is and you'll need to know the size of ball you need for the trailer. In our case, we have a 2 inch hitch receiver which is what you'll find on nearly every single half ton pickup truck from the factory. And for our trailer, we need a two inch ball. Once you have your hitch, fit it into the receiver and make sure to put the kingpin in place to hold it. We are using an adjustable hitch that allows you to quickly change ball size and height. To keep our car carrier sitting nice and flat, we have the hitch at its lowest setting. When it comes time to actually hook up, there are many things to consider. First, it is always best to have a second set of eyes spotting you from behind. Even though backup cameras make hooking up trailers so much easier than it used to be, having a friend is always best. Back your vehicle into the trailer so that the hitch ball sits directly underneath the ball housing. So once your truck is backed into your trailer and your hitch ball is right underneath the housing, you need to lower your trailer onto the truck. As it goes down, just watch to make sure, but the housing should fit right over the ball. So keep on cranking it down until the weight is off of your jack foot, like so. Then you need to close your hitch ball lock. Now on this trailer, you gotta pull up and push forward. Uh, different trailers are different types of locks, but there is one thing you can always do. Put your hand underneath and you can feel the collar on the actual trailer grabbing onto the hitch ball. Then you take your cotter pin and fit it in there like that, just to make sure that she's locked on. So now your trailer is locked onto your ball, you need to stow your jack foot. Now on this trailer, you just gotta crank it all the way up. But on a lot of trailers, the foot is actually hinged so you can rotate it to store it. Once your foot is all the way up, you need to connect your safety chains. And there's one rule to remember with the chains, and that is to always cross them. So find which chain is connected to which side and go to the opposite side on the pickup truck. Just like that. So this makes sure that if your trailer ever did pop off, the chains create a cradle which will catch the tongue of your trailer so it's not dragging on the road. Now the last step is to hook up your lights. Now most modern day pickup trucks have seven and four pin connectors. In this case, we're using a seven pin connector. So it just fits in there like that and there's actually a groove on one side so there's only one way it can fit in. Now once your lights are hooked up, make sure you double check them. If you do have any issues, pick up some dielectric grease which you can get from most big box stores or auto parts stores and just hit both ends of that connection. That will make sure that everything works properly. Weight balance on your trailer is very important as it affects your tongue weight. You want your tongue weight to be 9 to 15% of the gross trailer weight because a lot of tongue weight will pull your rear suspension down, causing your nose to lift, and that is no good. As a general rule of thumb, you want your truck and trailer to both be sitting nice and flat when you're all done hooking up. 
to correct for too much or too little tongue weight, you can move your load to either in front or behind the trailer's axle. When loading the trailer, your best bet is to load the majority of the weight right over the axle. So what is the easiest way to check for neutral weight balance? It's to drive your truck. The steering shouldn't feel lighter than usual, and the trailer should not want to sway all over the road. So finally, you're just about ready to go, but there's one last thing to do. You always need to do a circle check before pulling out. Walk around your entire rig and go over everything one last time. Are the lights good? Are the tires properly inflated? Is the hitch on right? If everything looks good, you're ready to go. So now you've got your trailer hooked up and you're on the road, but what about actually driving? Well, there is a lot to know about driving with a trailer. First things first, you're gonna wanna get proper tow mirrors. If you don't have proper tow mirrors, just take your regular mirrors and adjust them quite a ways out because you wanna be able to see the back end of your trailer. Now the law says that you have to be able to see the car directly behind you while towing. So if you have a large enclosed trailer that blocks your rearward view, you actually have to get tow mirrors. One of the most important rules, in my opinion anyways, is to never hurry. Now that's actually a good rule to follow when you're driving anything, but it's especially important when you have a trailer on. It's when you're hurrying, it's when you're getting stressed out, that's when accidents happen. Taking corners can also be a little tricky with a trailer, and there's one thing you need to remember. You always need to take every corner nice and wide. And while you're cornering, you want to also be paying attention to where your trailer's wheels are because you don't want to clip a light post or a curb. Another important part to towing safely is braking. Thanks to that added weight on the back of your truck, it's going to take you longer to stop, so you're going to want to leave plenty of distance to the car in front of you. As a general rule, I like to leave between three and four car lengths, but it depends on how much weight you're hauling. If you're really pushing your truck, you're gonna wanna leave even more distance than that. Most heavy trailers come with some kind of internal braking system. And here on our car carrier, we have electric trailer brakes, which are operated by an integrated trailer brake controller found up here in the dash in the Tundra. The operation of trailer brake controllers is always a little bit different, but the goal is the same, and that is to have that trailer helping you to stop safely. So the first thing you need when you're setting up your brake controller is a nice empty piece of road. Now I like to set the brake gain to around five just to start off to give you a good baseline. Then drive your truck to about 20 miles an hour. When you hit that speed, slowly start to squeeze the manual brake controller. What you're watching for is for lockup in your trailer wheels. If the wheels don't lock up, you're gonna to want to increase the trailer gain. Keep on increasing the gain until you do see your wheels lock up and then back the gain off by 0.5. This will make sure that your trailer's brakes are working as effectively as possible while not locking up. About 20 minutes after taking off, it's a good idea to stop one more time and double check all of your tie downs as your load may have shifted while your trailer was in motion. And that's how you tow a trailer. <laughs>